It's the biggest development in the Bengaluru blast case eight days after that explosion at the Rameshwaram Cafe. The National Investigation Agency has taken four ISIS Ballari module members into custody. This, as NIA suspects, an ISIS link to the Bengaluru Cafe blast. Here's precisely why they think so. Eight days on, the Bengaluru Rameshwaram Cafe blast accused remains at large. The National Investigation Agency has taken over the probe and is investigating. The big development now is that the NIA has taken four ISIS Bellari module members into custody. The NIA suspects the Bengaluru Cafe Blast is linked to the ISIS Bellari module. All four men are being interrogated. One of them is Minaz alias Suleiman, a former member of the radical group PFI and the alleged chief of the ISIS Ballari module. He had allegedly hatched conspiracies to carry out terror activities in various parts of the country before. After National Investigation Agency taking over the case of Rameshwaram Cafe Blast from CCB, started to investigate in all possible angles. And there were two specific angles. One, LET module and the two, ISS Ballari module. In the month of December, NIA had busted ISS Ballari module, where they had arrested few terrorist suspects and they also seized arms, ammunition, as well as raw materials like potassium and sodium, which has been used for IED manufacturing. India today has decoded the movement of the chief accused involved in the Rameshwaram Cafe blast the man seen in CCTV images and whose uncovered face was spotted on a bus. He possibly fled to Bhatkal in coastal Karnataka. On March the 5th, the accused was seen in Karnataka's Tumukuru wearing a mask and cap. He then took a bus to Gokarna on March the 6th from Andhra's Mantralayam. On March the 7th, the accused can be seen getting off from a bus in Bhatkal before disappearing. Meanwhile, Rameshwaram Cafe will open its doors to public from Saturday. I would like to say thanks to each and every Indians and saying that, you know, with uh, huge responsibility, again, we are standing back, you know, uh, of your service. And I'm promising you, we're going to deliver the best out of best South Indian food uh, to everyone as we are doing it. The hunt for the suspect in the Rameshwaram Cafe blast has intensified. His arrest is critical to unearthing any larger terror conspiracy. With Sagai Raj in Bengaluru, Bureau Report, India Today. So we're talking now about the ISIS Ballari module. What exactly is this and who are these people who've been arrested? Let's take their names. Minaz alias Suleiman, 26 years old, hailing from Ballari or Bellari in northern Karnataka has plotted terror activities across India, according to the NIA, was recruited uh, as a youth after, has recruited youth after radicalized them, radicalizing them, has targeted college students, allegedly, and active PFI members. He was the District General Secretary of the Popular Front of India. The ISIS link has emerged now after the Popular Front of India was banned. So that is what Minas is all about. He's one of the four people who's now been arrested by the National Investigation Agency, which took over the Bengaluru blast probe just a few days ago. I want to go across now to India Today's Sagai Raj, who's live from, in fact, the Rameshwaram Cafe, which opens in a short while from now. Uh, Sagai, take us through uh, what the investigation agencies are telling you right now. The ISIS Ballari module has emerged now as a big link ISIS involved in what happened at the Rameshwaram Cafe. This is a very disturbing development one week after the attack. Absolutely, and if you notice that even Mangaluru blast had a connection of ISIS. And now what we get to learn through our sources is that the NIA is investigating Ballari ISIS model. On December 18, 2023, uh, NIA had busted this particular module in Ballari, where they have arrested around four to five people, and they also seized arms and ammunition. And apart from that, they also seized raw materials, which was being used to manufacture IED. And that is one of the reasons that 
they believe that there might be one or the other connection with Rameshwaram Cafe accused with Ballari accused who were arrested in the month of December. And even the NIA officials reached out Ballari yesterday and they also uh, uh, also procured CCTV camera footage in and around bus stand and other places. And they have also zeroed down on one person who was sitting uh, on uh, the chair, uh, sorry, was walking inside uh, uh, ba Ballari bus stand to be one of the suspect of uh, Rameshwaram Cafe. So joining the dots, they believe that the explosion which has been used, the raw materials which was being seized in Ballari might have some of the other connection and they are uh, trying to investigate by taking all these people who were in prison to uh, into their custody and investigate further. What happens next? Four people have been arrested, Sagai. Uh, you know, the investigation has tracked the chief suspect who's been caught on camera from Bengaluru to Tumkuru to Mantralaya to Gokarna and finally to Bhatkal, which is the last place where he was spotted before he disappeared. What about him? These four men have been arrested. But what about the chief suspect? See, NIA special team is searching for the key suspect, but they are also trying to find out the other suspect who are inside the prison as well as who are outside as well who are under the radar of NIA. They are suspecting that they might have one or the other connection. For an example, when they arrested Minas, one of the accused was absconding. They couldn't arrest him. And they are also trying to find out if that accused is the same person in Rameshwaram Cafe or if that accused have any kind of connection with these, uh, uh, the, the person who have uh, uh, ex uh, had kept the uh, planted yeah. the explosion inside Rameshwaram Cafe. So they are investigating all possible angles when it comes to this particular uh, case. And uh, if you notice, uh, uh, Shiv, that uh, not only the Ballari module, even if you notice Sharik, uh, who was uh, uh, arrested in Bangalore bomb blast, once the charge sheet was filed, that's when the NIA has revealed that there was a huge network. There is a, a number of sleeper cells within Karnataka who are operating secretly where there are uh, handlers who are guiding them to make explosion using uh, uh, websites as well as supplying them right. and raw materials through online shopping. So this clearly shows that there is a huge network which NIA is trying to bust and probably in very, very shortly, we might get a good news from NIA that the accused in Rameshwara Cafe is under their custody. Thanks, uh, Sagai, for getting us that ground input. Sagai, as you can see, is at the Rameshwaram Cafe, which will be opening its doors to the public very, very shortly after eight days from that blast. Thank you, Sagai, for that. Joining me live now also for an expert view, an overview of how this investigation has, has gone so far and his assessment of where things are headed in this very troubling case is former uh, IPS officer, former special director of the Intelligence Bureau, Yashovar Azad. Mr. Azad, pleasure. Thank you very much for your time and for being with us here in India today to help us understand this, uh, this, this confusing case. Uh, sir, I'd like to start by asking you, it's been eight days uh, uh, I, first, I want to talk to you about the chief suspect who's emerged in all these uh, CCTV videos. Uh, you know, troubling details, sir. You know, appears to be professionally trained in avoiding CCTV, but has been tracked moving from Bengaluru to Tumkuru to Andhra Pradesh and finally disappearing somewhere in Bhatkal. You know, this kind of came out of the blue, sir. Your opening kind of assessment as far as where things are with this case. Well, you know, Shiv, let me start by saying that the choice of the uh, restaurant, which is one of the mm. most popular ones, the choice of the timing itself uh, and, and uh, you know, creating an ID blast were clear markers of a terrorist stand, you know. And when you talk about yes. a terrorist angle in, in, in a case in Karnataka, then immediately two organizations come to your mind, you know, the PFI and the ISIS. And I'd said it on the opening day itself that these two needed to be watched very, very carefully because what is happening right now is that the semi carters you know, moved seamlessly into PFI. Some of them moved into ISIS. So these are the people who have complete knowledge of, of uh, whether it's bomb fabrication, about uh, use of weapons, because you remember they've had their training camps yes. and uh, also in the use of uh, uh, explosives. In this particular case, 
the CCTV is, as you rightly said, the way that the fellow was hiding his face and not giving a complete picture meant obviously that this guy has been trained a little. Last year in Karnataka, you know, the, the, the investigation, I would say, is in the right track because mm -hmm. NIA has had a huge experience last year. You remember almost 44 locations in four states uh, yes. they had uh, raided. Uh, because of the ISIS module, we create to, meant to create acts of terror like this. Another thing which is very, very critical and why the investigation is moving in this direction mm. is the radicalization of the uh, ordinary criminals mm. by the terrorists in jails. And there was another case in Karnataka where four of them were caught with even satellite phones, weapons, etc., etc. So in this Balari module, which which uh, which is a very very important module with the um, uh, you know catching of this guy Minaz, I think as yes. you mentioned, is very crucial for this because uh, they might be in custody, they might have been arrested, but a detailed interrogation might you know reveal a lot of details. Hmm. But one thing is true. You know, the main man has not been caught, and that is a little disturbing. I do hope, with extended interrogation of these four, there are yes. some clues and there are some leads. Already NIA has announced a reward of, uh, of 10 lakhs. Is, is that, she, Mr. Azad, the, is that why it is so difficult to find this man? You know, even with all the technology that we have, tracking data, etc., uh, you know, mobile phones, satellite imagery, etc., that it's so difficult to track a person even when you have their picture, sir? Two, three uh, things in this, you know. First of all, you know, mobiles, they are such experts that they keep throwing the sims away after making a call or they are using, you know, public telephone booths and things like that. Yeah. And in the CCTV, there is only one shot, one shot which is available in which you can have a picture. Now, if mm. you use the facial identification system, it works, it does not work, but they have found one link uh, somewhere else when he was catching a bus or something. So it is it is still difficult because the images which are coming to you, these are hybrid yeah, bulletins. Yeah. It could be he could be a normal man doing something during the day and Correct. you know radicalized and doing such activities at night. So it's difficult to find you don't you can't match it with your database which you have. That is the critical problem, and that is why there is a difficulty in catching this guy. Eight days and counting, four people have been detained, as Yashovardhan Azad correctly says. Hopefully, that will lead to the arrest of this chief suspect who's been caught on camera. Mr. Azad, thank you very much for your time and giving us your wisdom on this unfolding story. Remember, the Rameshwaram Cafe will be opening very, very shortly after eight days since that blast.